What we wanted to be able to do is have mice that had never experienced MECP2 and so had uh, their brain had developed, developed without it, wait until they were suffering the consequences of that and then put the gene back. And the general perception in the field is that once you have damage in the brain, it's very difficult to go backwards. What we found was that it's reversible, which is the most desirable result. That's the, that's the really mo the important thing. And I would say also the most unexpected result. Dr. Bird's work has established the principle of reversibility um, of Rett-like symptoms in a mouse. And with that foundation, it's a real possibility that the same thing will hold true in people. Now there's tangible proof for the first time that there is the ability to reverse an autism spectrum disorder never been done before. Right now we could think that someday there will be a cure and in the meantime there is hope. I mean I don't care if I'm 80 years old when I hear Nikki talk for the first time but we actually believe now it's going to happen. Now we know the reversibility there's no reason to hold back in doing everything possible to develop assays that allow you to um, uh, screen drugs. So if you like people who were looking for um, drugs or trying gene therapy um, in order to fix this this uh, distressing disorder, now know that it's worth their while. And the Rett Syndrome Research Foundation will be very aggressively focused um, on funding research and facilitating research in all of these areas. You needed this result to know that if tomorrow we discover a drug, not only girls who are not symptomatic are going to benefit, but also girls who have already developed symptoms. And there are thousands and thousands and thousands of girls who have symptoms of Rett syndrome. So Rett syndrome is an autism spectrum disorder that has links to a variety of other disorders, um, including autism, including childhood onset schizophrenia, um, bipolar disease, and also the movement disorders like Parkinson's and Huntington. And so this astonishing, remarkable, and truly unexpected result, um, I think is going to bring hope um, and excitement to both um, the lay community, the scientific community, and families um, that are dealing with these disorders firsthand. Um, because if there's a possibility of reversibility in Rett syndrome, um, that may hold true for these other disorders as well.